Okay, here's the other part of, I uh, just got done honing it and now I got it in a bucket of warm, soapy water. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to clean out the cylinder, and it's kind of hard to do one-handed, but you clean out the cylinder with this brush. Gets all little burrs off and stuff. Um, and then you just continue to wipe it down until you don't have any, um, I don't know, gray residue. Um, it's actually pretty dang easy to hone this stuff. Um, if you, um, I guess if you watch other videos and stuff, and I'm sorry that I couldn't show you exactly when I'm doing it, but um, it's hard one-handed. So all I'm doing is cleaning this a few times and I'll take it out and I'll wipe it off and uh, I'll wipe it out, see if there's any crap on there. If, there's, if there is, then I'll just go back in there and uh, clean it out with some soap and water again. And then what you want to do is you want to lightly coat the cylinder walls with um, like WD-40 or um, uh, engine oil or something just so it doesn't uh, corrode and get rusty. Because this, these are aluminum, or not aluminum sleeves, um, these are iron sleeves. So they, they will tarnish and stuff just like a motor in a car or left out in the rain or anything like that. So um, and it's all, you can never clean it good enough. Um, always clean it, always clean it, always clean it. The better you clean it, I guess the cleaner is going to be for paint and looking on your bike and stuff like that. So um, and then um, I'll show you the pistons and um, the rings I bought for this, the stock rings, um, show you how to fit them up and um, I skipped a lot of processes I guess pre pre doing all the measurements for the cylinders. I have tools and stuff I'll show you that I um, bought but alright thanks for watching part two I guess there might be part three part four or whatever I don't have the GoPro working yet so you're gonna have to watch 100 million videos so all right hope you're keeping entertained